Cli-Fi is becoming more and more a global phenomenon and an international phenomenon. Although the term Cli-Fi began in English-speaking countries, more and more non-English-speaking countries around the world are writing novels that can be termed cli-fi novels, and more and more literary critics and newspaper reporters in non-English-speaking countries, such as France, Germany, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Brazil, Spain, Mexico, and many more have been writing about cli-fi. And if you Google the term cli-fi on the internet now, you can see articles in Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Italian, French, German, and many more. And all of these countries and all of these newspapers in these countries are used are spelling the term cli-fi, C-L-I hyphen F-I, following the usage in North America. Although they also have their own native terms for climate fiction, which translated into various language, languages such as German and French and Italian and Spanish, have their own ways of saying and writing climate fiction in those languages, but they're all using the term, the nickname of cli-fi and spelling it as cli-fi. Just as they also use the word sci-fi, even though they have their own terms in their own languages for science fiction, but they still spell sci-fi as a nickname as S-C-I hyphen F-I. So cli-fi is following in many ways the same trajectory as sci-fi. And since cli-fi is actually, many people consider it to be a subgenre of sci-fi, this all makes sense. So the world we live in more and more is taking to cli-fi in many, many languages. And we're seeing cli-fi novels appear in more and more languages. And we're seeing ma many more regions of the world gravitate towards cli-fi literature. And this is a good thing. And I hope to see more of it. And if I could speak more languages, I would do a few more videos in those languages. I speak French poorly, and I speak Japanese poorly, and I speak Chinese poorly. But learning these languages from around the world has enriched my life and my vocabulary and my imagination. And although I come from an English-speaking country, I no longer consider myself a citizen of any one country. I consider myself a citizen of the world. And I've considered myself a citizen of the world since I was about 22 years old. That's about 50 years ago. We live in countries and we have artificial borders but I never really bought that line. I believe we are all human beings and we belong to one race, the human race, all of us together. That's my vision of this world. And, and it informs my vision of Cli-Fi. Merci beaucoup. Arigato gozaimashita. Shesheni.